alert for subway riders who take the G train. Service has been restored after last night's derailment, but could there be further problems in the future? CBS 2's Alice Gaynor is live in downtown Brooklyn with more on that. Alice? Christine, the good news is service was restored at 4.30 just before the evening rush. But a lot of commuters tell us, with so many fare increases, they want to know why there always seems to be so many problems still. The MTA says last night's derailment happened after a G train came in contact with a deteriorated section of wall next to the track. These newly released photos from the MTA show workers making repairs. The Church Avenue bound train carrying 80 people derailed around 10.30 last night. The two front wheels of the first car coming right off the tracks. This happened about 700 feet north of the Hoyt Skirmerhorn station. Riders were forced to walk through the dark tunnel as firefighters held up flashlights. In a statement, the MTA chairman and CEO accepted responsibility and called the accident unacceptable, but that they need the city to pay its fair share. Quote, the sooner we can end these gains and get to work on rebuilding our transit network, the better we can serve the 8.5 million customers who rely on the MTA every day. As for riders, they've had enough of the service disruptions. It is a nightmare. It's really, really terrible, man. It's really bad. So now, we reached out to the city, and a spokesperson tells us that this past spring they fully met the MTA's funding request and that it is the state's responsibility to run the state run MTA. We are live downtown Brooklyn tonight. Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Alice.